Hello everybody, this is Sparks and welcome to episode 3 of Lectures in Lab Coats. Uh, I was really interested in the new snapshot uh, to have a look and see what sort of um, spawning behaviour nether quartz has in the nether. So uh, today we're going to go into the nether and we're going to load up MC Edit and uh, we're going to replace all the air with glass so that um, we get sort of a, a mould of what the caves used to look like so we can see whether the nether quartz is anywhere near the surface. Uh, then we're going to replace any lava with ice, so we can see through that easily as well. Uh, glowstone is being replaced with gold blocks, mostly so they're still visible but uh, they don't sort of melt the ice. And then finally netherrack is going to be replaced with air, which is going to completely uh, show us all of the nether quartz and make sure that it's all visible so we can have a proper look at its spawning. So we're going to head back over to the, um, to the Minecraft world and have a look and see what we can see. So here we are back in the Minecraft nether, uh, and it looks pretty interesting, I have to say. Um, it looks like uh, this glass is the, the surface, anything that's inside this glass, on the other side of this glass bubble is where air used to be. So it looks like nether quartz is pretty randomly distributed, to be honest. Um, we've got... We've got it... Uh, pretty much down as far as bedrock level there still seems to be quartz. Uh, I don't see it sort of being any more frequent um, in the middle uh, and I don't know about up. Oh, oh, there we go. We head up. Let's have a look, see. Is there any more common near the surface? Hmm. No, it seems to be pretty evenly distributed across everything, to be honest. Uh, so, I'm guessing, in terms of mining this stuff and trying to get as much of it as quickly as possible, uh, even though it's evenly distributed, it's probably a good idea either to go right down to the base or uh, right up to the surface, because caves appear most commonly uh, sort of in the middle, so you'll have a lot, le a lot more air without any nether quartz, since you'd never get a blob of nether quartz like this in the middle of, of the air in a cave. So I'd say if you're planning to mine this, go all the way down, all the way up, and just do an ordinary grid mine. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a, 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 a perfect height to mine at, which is a shame in many ways. Something, something else interesting I'm noticing here is that uh, these used to be lava blocks, they're now ice. It looks like there are lava blocks just sort of scattered around. Um, I'm assuming that, you know, when you see a cave uh, in the nether with with a, a trail of lava running down it, I'm guessing that these are the source blocks. So it looks like it's worth being careful while, while shaft mining to make sure you don't walk into one of these lava blocks when you expose it. But yeah, that's um, all the info I can really find out about this nether quartz at the moment. I will double check uh, when the full release comes out. I will redo this test and see if the spawning behaviour is still the same, uh, just in case it's changed. But at the moment, this looks like the best uh, the best sort of advice I can give at the moment. So thank you very much for watching, um, and I wish you all a nice evening. This is Sparks. Bye-bye.